You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back, then baby Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I've got a eyelash tutorial for you today and it's only fitting that we use my Keep It Simple Lash. So I launched my eyelashes last week. If you want to buy them, you can go to my website, www.houseofamberp.com. I have two pair. We're gonna be working with the Keep It Simple pair today, which is my absolute favorite. It's very, very light. It's wispy, the band is light, and it's easy to apply. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna show you two different ways on how I like to put my lashes on. I'm actually going to be using my sample pair that I have been using. I know I have used these easily six times. So you can get a good wear out of these. Basically what you need to make sure you do is when you take them off, make sure you get any residue glue, put them right back on the plastic, make sure that you arch them so that way they keep their shape, pop them back in the box and they're good to go. Okay, now that we are all zoomed in, this has been just the most simple, easiest way to apply lashes. If you are someone who just simply can't do it, this is what you need, okay? And it's a matter of the glue. So this is the Kiss Lash Glue Liner. So they have it in clear and they also have it in black. Today, we're gonna be using the clear. So this is so, so easy. So first things first, whenever you get your lashes, the first thing you want to do is measure them for your eye shape. Nine times out of 10, you are not going to be able to take the lash out and just pop it on your eye and it'd be a perfect fit, okay? Second thing, you want to make sure you're trimming at the end. If you're not sure where the end is, look at your lash, okay? The shortest is always gonna be the inner corner. So it's gonna start off being the shortest and then gradually get bigger, longer in length, okay? So make sure that you are cutting the outside, not the inside. These, like I said, I've used about six times already, probably more than that. So therefore, it already fits the shape of my eye. Got some glue there. So. With the Kiss Lash Glue, this one is in clear. All you gotta do is give it a shake. I don't have on any liner. So of course, if you want to have more so of a little bit of a deeper lash line, you can use the black one, but today I'm gonna use the clear. So all I am going to do is just line. I'm just going to line my lash line as if I was putting on regular liquid liner. And also, I already have on mascara. Let me zoom in more. There you go. I always recommend putting on a little bit of mascara before you put your eyelashes on, just simply because it helps blend them together. And with this, you don't have to wait for it to dry down. You don't have to wait for it to get tacky. Just on the outer corner, you want to make sure you're putting on enough. Now, I am going to take my lash. I like to apply my lashes with tweezers. And pro tip here, if you're someone who has curly lashes like me, I recommend tilting your head back just a little bit because you want the lash to go behind your lashes and then you just simply drop it on. Now the cool thing about this lash glue is you never have to worry about gluing your eye shut ever because the glue is already on your lash line. And then once you get it on, you just simply, I like to press, I don't have long nails, so I'm able to just press it down where I want. If you need to kind of wiggle it around a little bit, you can. I like to make sure that my inner corner and especially outer corner are set. And voila, lash is on. This is simple, I promise you. I highly recommend you get the lash glue liner if you are someone who just simply cannot get your lashes on with traditional glue 
this is what I recommend you using. The only thing about the lash glue liner I have found, it's not as heavy duty as more so like a duo or the Eyelore that I like to use. So make sure when you're putting it on, you put more than enough on and really press it on. I've gotten mine to last, uh, I probably about like around hour six or seven, I noticed I had some lifting. However, I had the pin in my purse, so I just easily put a little bit on the outer corner and just pushed it back down and it was good, but definitely want to put that out there, okay? And I love, love, love how light my lashes are. The band is not thick whatsoever. It's very, very light. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not like you have an elephant ear on your eye. It's just, it's easy guys. It is super, super easy. And I also love how wispy this lash is because I feel like it's one of those lashes that it's good for no matter what you got going on. If you wanna have a little bit of lash for just the daytime and maybe you have a special event and you want a little something, something, but not too much, this is just absolutely beautiful. And all of my lashes are foam ink lashes. Okay, now we're going to use traditional glue. And here is how we are going to do this side. So go ahead, take your lash off. Remember, go ahead and measure. Mine is already measured. Take it off, measure, make sure it is long enough for your eye. If it is not, cut the outside. Remember, the center, not the center, the inner corner is always gonna be a little bit shorter, okay? That's how you know. Trim the outside. Now, we are going to cut right down the middle, the band, okay? So taking the outer portion first, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to take some glue. I like to use the Eyelore glue. Now this one is in black. I have no idea where my clear one is, but that's okay. <laughs> it's gonna be, you know what? Uh, maybe I should get some clear glue. Hold please. Okay, found some Duo. I prefer Eyelore just simply because it has a wand on it and then you can just paint it onto the lash band. With Duo, it's just, I hate when you squeeze it and all the glue comes out all over the place. You don't really have much control because if you get too much glue on the lash, then it's gonna take forever for it to dry. I am just going to get I like to kind of get one dot and then just kind of move it down the band. Now with using traditional lash glue, what in the world's going on? Using traditional lash glue, you do have to wait a few seconds for it to get tacky. If you try to apply it straight on after, you're going to have a hot mess on your hands. Now, what is the point of cutting it in half? Well, when you cut it in half, it makes it smaller and it's easier to work with, you know what I mean? So you can just get one part on, then the second part on. So I'm just gonna take a few seconds and let this get tacky, somewhere between probably 30 to 45 seconds. I think that's a good window for how long you should wait. And then sometimes if I've got the glue on and I think maybe I put on a little too much, I'll just take it and just dab a little bit off on the back of my wrist. All right, so here we go. Same thing again. This time, since we have the glue on the actual lash, you gotta be a little bit more careful, okay? So I'm going to tilt my head back just a little bit and make sure that the lashes are going behind mine and just drop it on. Now this makes it so much easier when you cut it in half because you only have this one little part to worry about. So now all I have to do is just maneuver it a little bit. And I like to take my finger and just kind of press. And voila, lash first part is on. Then something else I want to point out, if you're using just traditional lash glue where you have to squeeze, after, make sure you wipe the top off because I can't tell you how many times I've had my cap get stuck because there was just residual glue hanging out on the tip of the applicator. So make sure you wipe that off. 
All right, so now we're just gonna wait for this to dry. I'm just gonna tilt my head back. Oops, sorry, can y'all see me? I'm gonna tilt my head back. Drop the lash on. And we're on. Now, all I gotta do is just wait for the lash glue to finish up drying. All right, y'all, so lashes are on, glue is dry down. I wanted to not use liner because I wanted you guys to see just how lightweight the band is. I feel like sometimes with some lashes I've used in the past where the band was just so big and bulky, first of all, it took over my eye, it felt heavy. And secondly, I feel like when the band is that thick, you kind of almost have to offset it with liner to kind of blend it in with your natural eyelash. So this I feel looks so natural, so light, easy to apply. And me personally, I prefer to wear my lashes without liner. I don't know, I just think it looks so much prettier without it. Again, a lot of times just gonna depend on what exactly we're doing, but preference, preference on a regular basis is gonna be no liner and just let the lash and eyeshadow do the talking. So this is the finished eye tutorial. That's going to wrap up the eyelash tutorial. Down below, let me know if my tips were helpful. I know for me, they were game changing. So anytime I learn something or find something that I think is very, very simple, I'm always going to bring it to you guys. And don't forget, lashes are available. I have the Keep It Simple Lash, which is the lash that we use in tutorial today. And then I also have my Show Day Lash. Do not be afraid of the Show Day Lash. It is very, very light, very, very wispy. The band is light. This is just more dramatic than the Keep It Simple Lash because I did make it with bodybuilding competitors in mind. However, you can still wear it for a night out. It's not over the top, it's not too much. It's just long, wispier, but you still have that nice light lash band and easy to apply. And new drop. We're just full of new. I like new, God likes new. Keep It Simple t-shirts have been revised with the new Keep It Simple design, all right? So I love you all so, 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 so much. Thank you so much for all the love and support on the ebook with the lashes, with the t-shirts. Y'all are the best and you truly keep me going. You know the deal, keep it simple. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.